Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Carolina. I wanted to quickly introduce myself before I share this dream with you guys. Um, now, the, my channel is called Makeup Pearls. Uh, I have, I have told you guys so many t different videos. Like I've shared this, where, um, but I'm gonna just recap it today. I was called of God to make a YouTube back in October 19, 2019. It was October 19, 2019. That was the day I was called. I was pulled out of my sleep at two in the morning. And when I woke up, I was, so I was laying on my back. And when I woke up, I woke up sitting up. And I was like, like if somebody came and just went, and I just went, and I was like, what just happened? Like someone literally pulled me out of my sleep. And then the whole night, I couldn't go back to sleep and I was like, what just happened? What just happened? And around 6 a.m. I decided, like I kept having this impression that I should go to this mountain, like my favorite mountain. So I was like, okay. Um, the pressure kept coming and so I was like, okay, at 6, I decided I'm gonna go. At 7, I left my house. At 8, I was there. And at 9, I was on top of the mountain. And I, you know, I'm there and I'm talking to God and then I real, I turned the camera and I realized Oh, I'm like, I'm like, let me just start recording because I don't know what, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, and like on the mountain, like halfway, I'm, I'm pretty sure this was like the halfway point. I wanted to turn around. I wanted to go back home <laughs> and I felt a hand, like a human hand. There was nobody there with me, but I felt a human hand on my back. Like if somebody was like going like this to me and like helping me go to the mountain. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like I really don't want to do this. Like it was just so much happening like within me and all that. But I was just like, I'm going to be obedient because he literally woke me up at two in the morning. So I go to the mountain and I realize that I'm wearing a shirt that says harvest on it. And I truly believe that the Lord has called me for harvest to, because I've begged him. I've begged him to be a laborer in his vineyard. I've asked him to help me to be a tool. Una remienta in his vineyard. I get very emotional when it comes to Jesus Christ. Like, that is my heart. Like if you did like open heart surgery, his face would be tattooed on my heart. Like I love him so much. So about, where, where are we? Um, this is July, 2021. I had this dream when my son was a few months old. He is about to be six. So just to give you a timeline. One day I asked God, I got on my knee. I got on my knees and I prayed. I don't remember exactly how I how I started off the prayer, like what I was asking Heavenly Father, but I just remember, like in the middle of my prayer, like a pop, pop like a thought popped in my head, and I was like, Heavenly Father, how do you see me? How does the Creator of the universe see me? I'm gonna start crying because this is so beautiful. So and I get a lot of questions like, where do I get the name Pearls? Makeup Pearls. Makeup Pearls was given to me by God. I was in my room. I was in front of my closet and I'm like talking to God and I'm like, well, Heavenly Father, what am I going to name it? Like this was, I was like, what am I, like, this was like the day after or the, like the, like later on that day I was in my house and I'm like, well, what am I going to name it? And it came to me. It was like Makeup Pearls. And I was like, okay, I like that name. It's, it's a really good name and I'm going to run with it. And it took me a while to really get used to like calling, you know, pearls from TJ Maxx and Marshalls pearls. Cause like when I would, before YouTube, I would just go to the store, buy it and leave. I wouldn't, you know, be talking to anybody. And if I did, I wouldn't, you, it's different when you're recording, like when you're on camera, like talking to you guys, but you get, like I have to get in a certain mindset. Okay. And I just like, when I go in, I'm just like, I'm talking to my friends and that's it. I'm just showing you guys what I found. And so this is like a pearl. So I, that's where the name makeup pearls comes from. And when I call things pearls, like, oh, I'm like, oh, this is a pearl because, you know, X, Y, and Z. I will, I've said this before, Jesus Christ is a pearl. And if I don't share that with you guys, I'm doing you harm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I already shared that part. I'm just like, I'm just going off the notes in my head. I didn't really write anything down. I just, like, my face is so itchy and I don't know why. I'm like, like. It's the makeup I have on and I usually don't wear makeup. Um, but today I did like a couple of other videos. So back to the subject. Um, so I 
asked God, I asked him, I was like, how does the creator of the universe see me? And I went to sleep that I got off point. I got like, I, I, I said, you know, I didn't expect a dream. I just said, how do you see me? That's all I asked. And then I went to sleep that night. I had a dream and it was, I've had dreams with buildings before and I could talk about that in other videos, but this is a specific building that I saw. I need you, I'm gonna try to look online and if I could find a picture, I'm gonna just put it in here. But, sorry, it's late and it's like, this is the only time I have to do this video. Um, in my dream, I, so I'm in a dream and it's one of those um, vivid dreams where you know you're like walking and you, you actually like, you can, t you, you know you're gonna remember this dream because it was so like, you were there. Feel me, it was one of those. So in my dream, I'm looking, I'm walking away from a building. I'm like looking back, like I'm, my back is towards the building, but my head is looking back. Like I'm looking at it, walking away. Okay. I'm walking away and it's like a disgusting, ghetto, dirty looking building. It's disgusting. I'm leaving that building. It's like the most disgusting building in New York that you could think of. The most ghetto building. That is what I was leaving. I was leaving that building and I'm walking away. And as I'm turning my head, I go into a tunnel. Okay, this is a tunnel. I've been in this tunnel before. It's the same tunnel that's in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints DC Temple Tunnel. Like I said, we're in July. If I didn't mention it, we're in July. Um, today is actually the 21st of July. They announced it yesterday the 20th of July, that the Temple of the, of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints DC location will be open to the public for the first time. So I wanted to announce that really quickly. It will be open to the public for the first time um, in, in more than 45, it's been about 45 years. It was dedicated in 1974, if I'm correct. So yeah, um, I just want to tell you that I'm so ecstatic excited my heart is filled with joy um so i'm gonna finish my dream um i'm just excited to share that news with you that it's gonna be reopening and also it will be open to the public from april i think april 22nd until june 4th i know june 4th is the cutoff date because june 19th is the um the, the dedication and I am like, I'm there. You know what I mean? Like I am unavailable that day in advance. I'm a bit unavailable that day. Like I am so there. Um, and really quickly for any member who's watching, my dad had a dream that he, and my dad's like a, a temple worker. And he said that he had a dream that he saw uh, President Nelson face to face. So um, I was like, what if he comes? That'd be cool, you know? And it, for those who don't know, President Nelson is the, pres is the prophet of our church. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to like mention. And then, um, so back to my dream, uh, I just wanted to like put those side notes in cause I don't forget. So in my dream, I am turning and looking away from like, I'm looking that I'm leaving these dirty building, like this dirty building. And as I turn, I'm in this tunnel. The tunnel is a tunnel from the church, like the, the temple, the temple that, okay. So basically if you ever seen the temple, it has like a little like a little office that you check into and then you go through the tunnel and then you're in the temple okay um in the dream i'm in the tunnel so i'm like turning and then i go into the tunnel um i'm walking my husband is on my left there's other people behind him there's a woman on my right i could feel her there's other people with us and we're all going through the tunnel and because we're all going at the same time i really couldn't like slow down i just kind of keep going like i know i was like in the front, like I was, it was me and him. And then there was other people around us. Um, and we were just going in and I've been in there. Um, I'm a member of the, the church. So, and I do have my recommend. So I do, I go when it's open. So, uh, I can talk about this cause if you see the model, it's, this is public information. So when you go through the tunnel, um, there's like this uh, hallway. Okay. There's like at the end of the tunnel, there's this picture and I'll put the picture up. And it's a very beautiful picture. I love this painting. Um, at the end of the tunnel, that painting is there, okay? Uh, and there's like offices and bathrooms and then there's like other levels to the to the temple. 
but as soon as I walked like in my dream it wasn't that that painting wasn't there and that hallway wasn't there it had transformed okay like that it was completely different I walk in and I see only one person at the door and I'm gonna cry because I love this person so much I realized I shouldn't be saying names because like you guys could really cut me down <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave it like that I walk in and I see my old bishop on my left and he's standing there with this little with his little humble brown suit he has like this little brown suit and like this little brown tie and his white shirt that he wears and he was standing at the like on my left as I'm walking in and he just says well, like with a smile on his face he goes welcome back and I walk into this room which is actually the chapel but in my dream it wasn't the chapel it was this huge room and in that moment I was like look at the carpet look at the vase look at the couches I was so like taken back because I've been there feel me and it wasn't the same house I mean, that same house it wasn't well it was the house of the lord but it wasn't the same um the same setup okay like i walk in and i'm looking at everything because when i walked in like as soon as i walked in i see the bishop my old bishop i see this vase i see this couch i see this door i see a door like a big wooden door like um like we were walking towards it like the whole group that i was with we were walking towards it like i know that because the door was closed but i knew that that's where we were walking to because like that's the direction we were all going and those doors were closed i just that's all i can tell you that's what i saw the doors were closed like i walk into that room and the door were the doors were closed but i knew we were going to go there and i see the vase i see the the couch and they're very like renaissance very um re renaissance that's all i could think of like a king lives there that's all i could think of and then my attention was immediately like look up and so i look up and i see a chandelier and the chandelier is full of pearls and i'm talking about big fat pearls like these things are huge and they're like going like this and it's a chandelier full of pearls and they're like um pearls like this color and that was a dream i woke up that was it and that really took me back like um like I was going to talk about that this week, this dream, I was going to talk about it either way. But when I heard the announcement yesterday, I was like, all right, Heavenly Father, like I get it. I'll do it. I'll do it like ASAP because I've been tired. Like my kids, my kids are doing summer school. Like I'm, I'm tired. Feel me? But I wanted to be obedient and get this message out. Um, well, this dream, but also the message of the temple will be open to the public. And then it will, once it's on the 19th well on the 4th it will be the last day and then on the 19th it will be rededicated and that's when only the, t the members can go in with like um with a valid uh recommendation like you have to have a, a recommendation to get in uh and um this is really important to me um i just can't wait i went to the temple this past week weekend uh to philadelphia and i gained much strength much strength that i needed and I am, I've just been very busy. Like I've been busy because the Lord has kept me busy. And um, ever since I did that other video, which I'm not gonna talk about, but like, I already know, like those who keep up with me already know what I'm talking about. Um, ever since that video, you guys, I have felt the Holy Ghost. Like I, I have felt the Holy Ghost. It is the most beautiful thing in the world. I don't care about, I don't, I'm, I'm gonna try to be polite about this. Um, I know God's words offend people, especially if you're living a certain lifestyle and you don't want to hear otherwise. I just wanted to quickly share that dream with you guys. It means so much to me to know how much Heavenly Father loves me, loves you, and how he sees me. And if he sees me that way, um, I know he sees you that way. And you can always ask him how he sees you. Um, that is my testimony because that was a test that I went through and he answered me. And um, like, as a member of the church, 
um, yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys like what, you know, what I believe in. And I believe in the Book of Mormon. Um, this is why the reason, uh, like the main reason why we are called Mormons, like a nickname, but um, they have asked, like they have asked the members to please use the proper name. And I know it's long, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I get it. But I've always agreed with that statement, like, don't leave the Savior's name out. Like, for me, it's a it's a reminder. When I say Mormon, that just, that doesn't mean anything to me. But when I say, I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and I hear the name Jesus Christ, I have to remember that I am. Because, like, if you get angry, like, and anyone in general, and you let anger take over, it's over. And so um, I've learned so much since I've started my YouTube and I, God has refined me. And when I mean iron sharpens iron, like he is so great. Um, so yeah, this is why we're called Mormons. It's just the nickname, but the actual name is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And this is actually my, my Book of Mormon. And I dissected this thing like a million times because I'm that person. I'm just like, okay, well, if, I've heard so many people say that it's true. And I was like, well, how do you know it's true? And and I, I would never, I never looked at it for myself until I was an adult. And as an adult, I remember I was 25. I sat down and I read it for the first time. And I was like, yo, this thing is true. And the first chapter, because mine is so highlighted. In the first chapter, it talks about King Zedekiah. It talks about Israel. Like, look, it says here, it says... Nephi talks about, I'm just going to tell you guys like really quickly because a lot of people talk crap about the church, like my church, like the church I belong to. So um, I'm going to defend it really quickly. <laughs> Don't mind me. Um, but like really quickly, this is the first chapter of the Book of Mormon. And it says, I, Nephi, have been born of Gilead parents. Nephi is writing. Uh, the first 160 pages were actually lost. And um, that sucks because his dad... His dad, I, I bet you his dad had a lot to say because his dad was a prophet. His dad was a prophet at the same time that uh, Jeremiah was a prophet. And Jeremiah's name is in here as well. It says, Kings, because number, um, so he, look, look, it says this. Uh, verse two, it says, Yea, I make a record in the language of my father, which consists of the learning of the Jews and the language of the Egyptians. Three says, And I know that the record which I make is true, and I make it with my own hand, and I make it, I make it according to my own knowledge. Number four, it says, For it came to pass, then the commencement of the first year of the reign of King Zedekiah, Zedekiah, king of Judah, sorry. It says in the, sorry, let me start over. For it came to pass, in the commencement of the first year of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, my father Lehi, having dwelt in Jerusalem in all his days, in the same year, there came many prophets prophesying unto the people that they must repent, or the great city of Jerusalem must be destroyed. My favorite chapter out of this whole book is Nephi 3. And it starts, I think, on chapter 9. You guys, like when I say I like to know the truth, trust me, I will dissect and dissect and dissect and dissect. Because I'm that person. Like... People want to bash and bash and bash, but go look for yourself. Like, this book is not going to bite you. And there's nothing evil in here. Actually, it talks about Jesus Christ visiting North America. Not North, North America. The, uh, the Americas. It just says the Americas. And it says, chapter 9. I'm just going to read, like, the little, um, because this is really important. I need to tell you guys this, and then I'm going to let you guys go. It says in the darkness the voice okay chapter nine says in the in the darkness the voice of Christ pro, uh, proclaims the destruction of many people and cities and cities for their wickedness he also proclaims his divinity announces the law of Moses is fulfilled and invites men to come unto him and be saved that's just the prefate like you know like the little part of like before you go into the chapter like the little summary I'm just reading the summaries to you. Chapter 10 says, there is a silence in the land for many hours. The voice of Christ promises to gather his people as a hen gathers his chickens. The more righteous part of the people have been preserved. Number 11, because a lot of people died. Like if you guys look at central, like you guys can Google it. 
it's there. Like whenever you see um, cities that were covered with mountains and uh, cities that are underground and the water, all that, it's in here. It's it's in here. It talks about why it happened, why they're there, because Jesus, like they were wicked. And so Jesus, they couldn't see Jesus' face. Jesus came to see them. And so they weren't allowed to. So they were destroyed before he came, before he came. Um, that's just like a quick summary. Chapter 11, my favorite part. It says, the father testifies of his beloved son. Christ appears and, and proclaims his atonement. The people feel the wound marks in his hands and feet and side. They cry, Hosanna. He sets forth the mode of manner of baptism. The spirit of contention is of the devil. Christ's doctrine is that men should believe and be baptized and receive the Holy Ghost. I received the Holy Ghost when I was nine, when I was baptized. Um, I know he's always been there with me. Like I have other things that have happened to me in my life. Like I can talk about that in a different video. Um, I, like if you guys really wanted me to like talk to you, tell you, like if you guys want me to make a video strictly about my experiences with the Holy Ghost, I can, I can share those with you. Um, but as of right now, I'm just, uh, just reading from the, from the Book of Mormon. And then the last one that I'm going to read is chapter 16 is three name five chapter 16. It says, Jesus will visit others of the lost sheep of Israel in the latter days, the gospel will go to the Gentiles and in the house of Israel, the Lord's people shall see eye to eye when the when he brings again Zion. So yeah, um, that's what I believe in. Uh, I believe in the Book of Mormon. I believe that it's true. I believe in other scriptures as well, not only in the Bible, but also I believe in the Bible. Like I believe in the Bible. Um, and I also believe in the Book of Mormon. So yeah, that's, uh, that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, and yeah, like these are all my notes because I am, I am that person. Like I'm just like, Nah, I need to know for myself. Like, I need to know. And God let me know. So, um, yeah, that's just my testimony of the church. That's the testimony uh, of my dream. And the dream actually confirmed uh, confirmed my beliefs in the church as well. So, um, I do pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray to our Heavenly Father for guidance. And you guys can go to Him. You guys can go to Him and you can ask Him if I actually had that dream. You can ask him if I'm crazy. You can ask him all those things, but I'm just telling you my experience and my experience is my experience. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are safe. And I pray that you guys receive this message with love because um, I'm not coming for anybody. I'm just telling you my beliefs. And I, I mean, I know I get a lot of hate. I Trust me, I get a lot of hate for being a member of the church in person and online. But I'm not gonna deny my faith in Jesus Christ and what he has told me and what he has help me to understand so yeah um yeah i just want to say i love you guys because for me to share this with you i i literally pray for every single person that watches my videos god sent me because he's been trying to reach people and this is the only way he can he going to reach that certain person so i'm here to serve i hope you guys are good and um, yeah, be kind and nice to one another. That's all I can say. Bye, guys.